On October 30th, 2023, I visited the Disney 100 exhibition in London, created to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company. To respect my fellow guests, I've not vlogged my experience, but want to share what I saw. The exhibition starts with a short film before Walt Disney himself welcomed us to the exhibition. We then started our journey exploring the 10 galleries. The first gallery was called Where It All Began, about the early shorts created by the Walt Disney Company. This included a look at the Alice comedies and then the creation of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. After Walt Disney lost the rights to Oswald, he and Up Iwerks created Mickey and Minnie Mouse, who debuted on November 19, 1928. This gallery then ended with a section on the Silly Symphonies, the first coloured shorts that Disney created. The second gallery was called Where Do The Stories Come From, focusing on the Disney animated feature films based on literature. Here you can see concept art and sketches for Snow White, Pinocchio, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland, Mary Poppins, Beauty and the Beast, the Princess and the Frog, and Tangled. Amongst these pieces of concept art were Disney props, such as the Snow White costume used to help animate the film, Cinderella's glass slipper from a 2015 live action film, Dick Van Dyke's carousel horse from Mary Poppins, the snow globe from Mary Poppins, complete with flying birds, Winnie the Pooh from Christopher Robin, and Lumiere and Cogsworth from the live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast. The Illusion of Life gallery was about how Disney animators brought characters to life. There was a glass cabinet containing various character maquettes, as well as a section on Cruella de Vil to showcase the design of a villain, including the dress from Cruella. There was also a section on psychics represented by Olaf, and the Olaf puppet from Frozen the Musical. The final section focused on heroes through Ariel, including the Ariel dress from A Little Mermaid Live on ABC. The next gallery was the Spirit of Adventure and Discovery, all about Disney's adventure films and live action movies. Here we could see props from various Disney adventure movies, like Dwayne Johnson's costume from The Jungle Cruise, concept art from Moana and Lilo and Stitch, the ship in the bottle from Pirates of the Caribbean, art from Peter Pan, and Jude Law's hook from Peter and Wendy, and the model airship used in the island at the top of the world. There has been a section on Disney's Star Wars trilogy, including Han Solo's dice, the Porg puppet, the BB-8 puppet, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, and a Stormtrooper outfit. The final section of this gallery was on Marvel, including Thor's, Captain Marvel's, Star Lords, Iron Man's, Captain America's, and Ant Man's helmets. There was also Captain America's shield and Shang Chi superhero outfit. The fifth gallery was titled The Magic of Sound and Music, about the importance of music in Disney's history. Here was a display on Enchanted and how the film attempted to parody classic Disney music. There was also a section on Disney music, including original sheet music from Snow White and concept art from various musical moments in Disney films, all whilst Mickey Mouse could be seen conducting an orchestra. There was also a small section on Foley work, the creation of everyday sound effects. These included the wind chimes used to create Tinkerbell's flying noise, a leather wallet to create the seven dwarfs squeaky shoes, the, the original Steamboat Willie whistle, and how twigs were used in Bambi to create the sound of fire crackling. Finally, there was a small section on Disney on Broadway, including an outfit from the Lion King musical. The next gallery was the quietest gallery called The World Around Us, based on the role of nature within the Disney company. This included a section on Disney's true life adventure films, including the Oscar Disney won for them, and a section on the revived Disney nature documentaries. Then there was a display on Walt Disney's trip to South America in the 1940s before concept art on the role of nature in Disney parks like Big Thunder Mountain and Animal Kingdom. We next entered the Interventions Gallery about the use of technology within Disney. Here there was a section on how animators use storyboarding to easily plot out the story of a Disney film. 
and how the creation of the multiplane camera allowed animators to create a layered and more realistic movie. There was also a section on the development of audio animatronic figures, from a bird in a cage to human figures, for concept art of the original plans for Disneyland could be seen. The original plans included a Mickey Mouse Club, located in what was to become Tom Sawyer's Island, Adventureland being located next to Tomorrowland, and the park featuring Recreation Park. The eighth gallery was called Your Disney World, and focused on the Disney parks. This gallery included a look at original Disneyland memorabilia and the original opening dedication, which was heavily edited. There was also various props from the park, including Jiminy Cricket from Spectro Magic, Oscar from a Country Bear Jamboree, a Small World Doll, Minnie Mouse's outfit, ride vehicles from Peter Pan's Flight and Mr. Toe's Wild Ride, and a model of Hong Kong Disneyland's Castle Magical Dreams, which came to life with fireworks. The Wonder of Disney Gallery was a small gallery that seemed to be a miscellaneous gallery, with props from different Disney decades. These included an original Mickey Mouse toy, the Sword of the Stone book from a film with the same name, Zorro's hat, the bed knob from bed knobs and broomsticks, the Rocketeer's helmet, water bottles from Lost, and a basketball from High School Musical. The final gallery was called We Are Just Getting Started, a large mirror area showcasing Disney different moments, all whilst a copy of the Walt Disney Mickey Mouse partner statue looked out at the Disney moments. The gallery and exhibition ends with a quote from Walt Disney. I just want to say a word of thanks to everybody that helped make this dream come true. So, that is everything I saw at the Disney 100 exhibition. The exhibition was really cool and great for a Disney fan. It did get busy at points, but make sure if you do get a chance to go to either the US or the international version, that you take your time to fully experience everything on display. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you want to see next on the History Channel.